I'm John Malkfish, and this is the Wired Auto Complete Interview. Whoa, excuse me, stop there. John Malkovich, long hair. Well, I had very long hair oh, until it fell out when I was probably 23 or 24, but it's probably not ideal for an actor, oh, but really, I don't care at all. John Malkovich Oreos. Oreos probably refers to having to eat tons of Oreos during the filming of a, a movie called Rounders. I think they liked that it was uh, big. It's a fairly out there performance, I'd say, where I played a, a, a character called Teddy KGB who ate Oreos constantly. John Malkovich. Quote, rounders pay that man his money or um, from dangerous liaisons beyond my control. And I think those are probably the most quoted that I can think of. John Malkovich Ripley, it's a series of books, wonderful books, I think, about a pretty solidly sociopathic, a young boy who grew up in New York and goes to um, Europe and uh, starts a whole new life. Let's say he starts it by doing things to people that aren't very nice. Eventually I ended up playing Ripley in a, a, a film called Ripley's Game. And the film was done in about 2000, 2001, with the Italian director Liliana Cavani. John Malkovich, The New Look, takes place during the end of the Nazi occupation in Paris. All the action centers around principally two figures, uh, Coco Chanel, played by Juliette Binoche, and Christian Dier, who is played by Ben Mendelssohn, but also includes the designers Balenciaga, Balmain, Givenchy, Pierre Cardin, etc. And I play Lucien Lelong, who owned his own fashion house, and he uh, employed all of these great designers, including Christian Dior. Broadway. I only did Death of a Salesman in 1984, which was with Dustin Hoffman playing Willie Lerman, the titular salesman. The hardest thing I think about Broadway, or, or any, say, American or, or English theater where I've also worked, is the eight show a week thing, which is also, conversely, the only thing that makes it economically feasible at all, and also weirdly artistically, generally, the more tired you are, the more sick you are of doing something, the better it is. It's just the way it works. John Malkovich Conner, a film from the 90s produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, of course, had great success in producing movies principally, I guess you'd say, action movies, directed by Simon West with a cast of Nicolas Cage, Johnny Cusack, Ving Rhames, Steve Buscemi, David Chappelle, oddly enough, believe it or not. Super popular film which people still like. John Malkovich video game. I did a video voiceover Sometimes when you do things like that, you have a line which, let's say, might be underwhelming, and they ask you to do it 3,000 times in 3,000 variations when you just go, you know, I think I could do it if I were asleep. Pretty sure I can do it while I'm awake. Why don't we just make up a better line? And then we won't need 8,000 readings, but maybe we just need 10 or 12.
John Malkovich's Dangerous Liaisons. Dangerous Liaisons is a novel by a French uh, artillery officer called Chaudreau de la Clos, end of the 18th century. We did a film of it, uh, we being Stephen Frears, Glenn Close, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, Keanu Reeves, Uma Thurman, and that was a uh, uh, in 1988. It was felt that I was very miscast. In the words of Charlie, Willie Loman's next door neighbor and death of his husband, I think I was liked, but not well liked. Can John Malkovich speak French? Yes, I've done three or four films in French. I had a house there for 30 years. I speak French, but you find with languages is something you really have to practice. I did a film of uh, Joan of Arc with Luc Besson, and I had a driver. He was called Bruno. I love Bruno because when I ask him something, like, what, what, what time is the call tomorrow? He, he would answer everything like this, but everything. Je ne sais pas. And sometimes they abbreviate it just to sais pas. I don't know. One day we were driving through the town he grew up in. I asked him, what's the name of the river? Sepa. John Malkovich, when he was young. I grew up in a little town called Benton, Illinois. It's about 300 miles straight south of Chicago, Illinois. I read a lot and loved sports. John Malkovich, Empire of the Sun. Empire of the Sun is a film uh, Steven Spielberg asked me to do. It was based on the book by J.G. Ballard. I played a kind of ne'er-do-well traveler, let's say. Steven is the only person I ever worked with who I felt could make a movie alone. He's quite a good actor. He has the best recipe for tuna fish. He knows how to make the best shaving cream for props. He knows how to fly the model planes. John Malkovich's children. I have two children. Uh, they're grown up now and we have a granddaughter. I don't like to talk about them much, so not for any reason except just to leave them alone. John Malkovich, Bill. Hider. One of the times I did Saturday Night Live, he played an Italian character who was, I think, Italian-Italian. The joke was he didn't really speak much English and he spoke with a very heavy accent. It just made fun of the way I speak, which is sort of overly clear and super-mannered. Funny skit, because he's funny. Where does John Malkovich live. I live in Massachusetts. We have a little granddaughter and she's there before it was because it was a very quick trip to Europe where I still work. John Malkovich, SNL Christmas. This is referring to a skit I did. I read to small children about what would really happen if Santa had a sleigh with some flying reindeer and everyone catches on fire and everyone dies and it's all impossible and they just have to live with it. John Malkovich clothing. I said once uh, on uh, Saturday Night Live, hi, I'm John Malkovich and these are my clothes. Clothing, I think, probably refers to the fact that I did uh, 24, 26 fashion lines of uh, men's wear collections. John Malkovich, Killing Fields. Killing Fields was a movie which was about the journalist Sidney Schomburg covering the gang who took over Cambodia. I learned a lot of things, I think mostly about uh, filmmaking. I learned a lot of Cambodian swear words and oddities from all my Cambodian colleagues on it. They were phrases like, uh, if you're not going to paddle the boat, at least don't leave your foot in the water. We made it through all the boards. I was hoping for why is John Malkovich famous, but uh, bummer I didn't get it, because that's a great one, but I'm not sure it's answerable, is it?